We end tonight with a man that you might recognize from 60 Minutes, a modest hero if there ever was one. A Briton who risked his life to save hundreds of children from the Nazis, an act of courage for which an entire nation said thank you today. Here's Mark Phillips. In a ceremonial hall in Prague, a 105-year-old man received an honor he never sought. Nicholas Winton was awarded the Order of the White Lion, the Czech Republic's highest citation, and received it with the humility with which he had done his heroic work. In a way, perhaps, I shouldn't have lived so long to give everybody the opportunity to exaggerate everything in the way they are doing today. It would be hard to exaggerate what Nicholas Winton did. In 1938, with the Nazis already occupying part of then Czechoslovakia and preparing to roll over the rest, Nicholas Winton, then a 29-year-old London stockbroker, had gone to Prague and decided that if no one else would get the country's threatened Jewish children out, he would. He found the families. He made lists. And as he told Bob Simon of 60 Minutes earlier this year, he wouldn't take no for an answer. I work on the motto that if something's not impossible, there must be a way of doing it. He badgered governments to allow the kids in. The U.S. refused, but the British finally agreed. And when bureaucracy dragged its feet, he forged visas and spread money around to move things along. Took a bit of blackmail on my part. You were indulging in blackmail and forgery to get the children out. I've never heard it put like that before. <laughs> <laughs> but you seem to be enjoying it. It worked, that's the main thing. It worked for 669 children saved from the Nazi death camps. 50 years later, on a BBC TV program, he met some of those who owed their lives to him. Can I ask, is there anyone in our audience tonight who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? If so, could you stand up, please? Nicholas Winton has received other honours. He's become Sir Nicholas, knighted by the Queen. And now he has another honour he never wanted. I didn't really keep it secret. I just didn't talk about it. It and Nicholas Winton are being talked about now. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, good night.